Um, this is Chu, and we're going to be turning her out and putting on her boots so you can see what we do when we don't have rides. Okay, so we're gonna put the boot right on her cannon bone right here. Um, and I start with the top Velcro one and go down. And then, oh, she's moving. And then if it's not tight enough, you can go back and tighten them through. You just don't wanna make it too tight and it will cut off your circulation. Okay, now you can see Tu has her boots on and it's to protect her legs. So if she goes out there and needs to run a little bit or if she's bucking or whatever it is, it protects her legs from any impact. Okay, so when we turn out a horse, we always turn them back towards the entrance. So, and then we take off their halter because if we don't, say they're facing the other way and they start running and bucking, we get kicked. So this is the safest way to turn out a horse. So I undo her halter, and then she'll walk away, close the gate. Okay. We always want to tighten the girth before we get on. It does not hurt them at all but it makes sure the saddle doesn't slip before we get on. When I'm holding her like this, the lead rope, and she's just following us, it's called ponying a horse. We're now entering the Huntington Beach Urban Forest. What's cool is that we have a little oasis in the middle of Huntington Beach because no one knows it's here. I did not know it was here until I came to ride. <laughs> We still have to keep the horses active because as you can see, they are large animals and they need a lot of exercise. And so we take them on trail rides, um, rides like this where I bring two horses when we can't bring people out because of COVID.